Hello to all of my Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with you. Your midweek Wednesday reading Cancers. Let's get it. The moon is moving into, well, if you're watching it in the morning, the, the first part of the day on Tuesday, it's in Taurus, but it's going to move into Gemini. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is not retrograde. It's station direct. Uh, Mercury is the planet of communication and learning, but it's also the messenger planet, right? It's the planet of, when you think about Mercury, I want you to think about learning, communication, siblings, exchange, youth, education, your thoughts, your opinions, your mind, your factual memory, trade and commerce, right? Um, learning ideas, all of that, right? So it's communication planet, in other words. And there's so many forms of communication that sources saying to you, how you communicate with self, that meaning the energy you're sending out into the universe, is also what you should be expecting to come back from other people, right? So there's semi certain. Uh, there's a lot of different forms of communication. There's nonverbal communication, interpersonal communication, writing, visual communication, mass communication, organized communication, social media, email, eye contact, speech communication, gesture, public communication, speech business, storytelling, face-to-face -face conversation. So there's a whole lot of ways of getting messages through. So nobody has an excuse for why they're not getting messages or why they can't communicate. You just have to be able to communicate with people and how you expect to uh, receive a message, what's clearest for you. So you want to make sure your water is clear. Okay, Cancers, let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Again, um, the moon is, uh, and I'm going to just say it's in Gemini. I'm going to say it's in Gemini because the moon moves from Taurus into Gemini on Tuesday the 3rd. So this reading is for the 4th of October through the 4th of November, Cancers. Let's go. First card out of the deck is healing. Got a lot of healers in the house. We also have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Princess of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Your energy is very healing, right? Doesn't matter what your job title is, but your energy is very healing. So you want to make sure you are a healed healer, right? And not a hurt healer. That'll come out very differently if you're a hurt healer. You're just like, why do people keep draining on my energy? Why, why, why? Because they, you, they want that fresh water. You just have to know when to close out a cycle. Closing out a cycle doesn't always mean turning people away or cutting people off. It's really being in tune with that inner voice and the communication that source is sending to you. So for instance, we're looking at the eight of wands, the nine of wands, the ace of cups, the princess of cups, the five of cups, right? So there are so many ways when source is telling you to move on from something. Like somebody's somebody's just coming out of a long and arduous journey, right? Long and arduous journey is could have been like you were waiting for somebody else to, you know, see the light, right? Um, like you now see the light about things. And let's say on that journey, you learned that the way that you may have been wearing yourself thin, this is fire, right? You could have been literally draining your water out communicating with them by speech, right? Um, you may have had to go into nonverbal communication and maybe you say, I got to show them better than I can tell them because my talking is not working. So you're using various forms of speech to get a message through. And sometimes it's through trial and error. Sometimes you feel like I've been, me and this person have been going at each other's throats like wolves like rah you ever seen wolves like all oh, you see these long canine teeth like they're just coming charging at each other and that doesn't work because I can't hear what they're saying and they can't hear what I'm saying right or sometimes you may have communicated like oh they did that to me oh we playing that game that's the frequency we're on okay I'm gonna do the same thing back to you when source is trying to teach somebody that now you're in the light and you still see that some people are still in the darkness some people don't receive the message until you turn off the water because maybe the water was too loud. Maybe the emotions was too loud. Maybe you just came across as needy and crying about everything. Now you just turn the water faucet off. I don't have any emotions about it. I'm now I'm on my logical thinking, right? So source is saying also no, and, and because that's helping you to protect your water. Thus you're having, you have more fresh water for yourself and healing, right? 
We also have the princess of cups too. So somebody knows when to keep treat themselves like a prince or a princess. Whenever I feel like I need, I feel that youthful energy. I feel like, you know, I'm drinking from the water of youth. I'm not going to stress myself out putting all kinds of wrinkles and dents on my face and body because I'm screaming and yelling at you when I can just stop talking and drink water, coconut water, <laughs> and mind my business, right? And let source talk to you, right? So I'm no longer, I'm choosing this number five right here. I'm choosing not to lament over something anymore. Got it? Good. Yeah. That's why I like to keep you all with the phases of the moon because you're learning, you're learning, you're learning, you're learning. I'm going to be, I'm going to give you the questions for the moon and Gemini very, very shortly. All right, cancer. So yeah, you're a healed healer. Somebody's focusing on their healing, putting yourselves first. Because imagine communicating that way forever, like ever in that span of time that you've known a person. That's what I mean, forever, that that for that time, um, which is relative. And feeling like I stressed myself out so much. I've gained weight. I've lost weight. My skin is saggy. You know, I've developed all kinds of, I'm losing my hair. I'm, you know, I'm losing my faith in, you know, the dreams that I set forth. I put all the, because I'm communicating with somebody who's just like a brick wall is up. Okay. I'm going to have to try a different approach. I'm going to have to try a different approach. My body is made up of almost 70% of water. And I've spilled a lot of it out that water out to a point where I feel like I'm, I feel thirsty, right? So yeah, there's some energies. And also on another note too, there's some energies that want you to come back into that wilderness, just so we're clear. They want you to come back into the wilderness. Sometimes that looks like, and only take what resonates with you, uh, cancers. And I'm talking to you, by the way, if you're on the cusp of Leo and on the cusp of Gemini as well, or if cancer is your MC or IC, I'm just talking to you wherever cancer is in your birth chart. Some of that looks like for somebody, energies um, are trying to, in their healing and them getting closer and closer to their light, now starting to see how precious your water was. They're now starting to see the things that you've been telling them, like, you still friends with that person? You still connected to that person? Such and such and such and such. Like, mm, you're seeing things that they don't see. Remember, you're all a human lie detectors as well, Cancers. You all are not only sweethearts, empathic, highly intuitive. You all are tenacious. So many wonderful things I can say about you all. But guess what? You all are ruled by the moon. And I know you all know this by now, but now you're going to start seeing the moon in a whole different light. You're going to be grateful that that moon waxes and wanes because as a Cancer, if that moon stayed in full moon all the time, you be stressed out to the highest level of stress. <laughs> and who is trying to live that kind of stressed out life, right? Well, you literally have to live in the middle of an ocean to recharge, right? So source is saying to you, be grateful that that moon waxes and wanes and it moves through zodiac signs. So you are getting a feel, you actually are getting a firsthand knowledge of what nurtures every zodiac sign cancer. So yes, <laughs> Aren't you glad you're a cancer? So uh, so you're able to know how that these energies, how how energies need to be nurtured, right? Including fellow cancers, right? All you have to do is find out what their moon sign is. So source is saying to you, here we have the four of wands. So source is saying to you, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder when you do what? Drink water, get near water, and mind your business whenever people are trying to drag you back into their chaos and confusion. Remember, the devil is the author of confusion. So when you think about fire, that if that's not using it for warmth, that fire is used for it should be used for cleansing. Nope. I'm cleansing myself by the fire. That's your issue. You still lost. I'm not trying to be selfish. This is a form of self-care. You can take it however you want to. But so will of fortune, all the time that you may have felt like you wasted on certain types of energies, learning how to heal from them being bullheaded and stubborn and very slow to move and at times getting jealous and being lazy and handling situations, sources are going to give you all of that time back. Remember, time is relative. So again, you're doing your part in taking action, saying, nope, I'm motivating myself to take a trip. I'm motivating myself to get my coconut water. I'm talking about the real coconut water. We're not talking about, we're talking about the island coconut water come off the tree, right off the tree machete chop the top of it off you stick a straw in it and boom it tastes very different than the the the, the carton stuff you buy in a store right y'all who people know what i'm talking about anyway this is what you're headed towards king of coins 
very financially wealthy life. Very, very financially wealthy life because one, you don't look like what you've been through, right? Source is saying, I'm taking year, I'm restoring the years that energies have, who have tried to burn you out. I'm restoring those years, right? Why everybody else, and there's nothing wrong with getting plastic surgery if that's your thing. There's no judgment whatsoever over here. Whatever you feel like is going to make you feel better, do your thing, right? But some of you all is going to literally, you remember, um, if you all remember Twilight Zone, it was an episode of Twilight Zone where these we, uh, these elderly people were in a um, in an elderly facility and they found the fountain of youth and they were playing this, this, the, the game Kick the Can. You all may be able to look it up on YouTube. They have a lot of old episodes of... TV shows and stuff. That's how people going to think you drank from the fountain of youth. So the people who are lost, sometimes they try to drag you back into it by trying to make you jealous. That's how like sometimes somebody may all of a sudden, you know, reconnect with an ex or they got, you know, somebody you were married to or now all of a sudden they putting pictures of them and whoever their new person is online and they smiling all extra hard. But you're not even worried because you're in the light. You're like, I'm, hey, I'm glad that's somebody else's problem. <laughs> that's not mine. Again, you're keeping your vibrations high. Because when you and whoever was together, we weren't on the same frequency. And now I see it. So I wish that I genuinely wish them the best, right? Not even jokingly. So I was joking when I said it's somebody else's problem. But no, let's keep the vibrations high. I wish them the best. I'm not, we're not on that frequency. I'm living my absolute best life. I'm not stressed out at all. Here we have the eight of wands. Watch how quickly things start happening for you. It's two situations in particular. Sources saying it's, it's not even going to stress you out anymore. It, it, I mean, for real, when I, because of the way you're communicating messages. Like I said, somebody has said, I'm not going to burn myself out. <laughs> I'm not lost. I'm very clear about where I'm going. Now, you, I'm, I'm not sure where you're going. I, I hope you find the light within yourself. But I'm, am I going back through a, a barren situation? Absolutely not. There's really, to, there's little to no growth here. Right? Little to no growth here. Even if it's down to where you could have moved, a lot of people will relocate to places because they feel like, oh, the opportunities are abundant. And when I move there, all of a sudden, I know my business is going to take off. You may spend one, two, three, four years, maybe five years there. Five is a turning point, pivotal point. You may say, hmm, there's not a whole lot of growth in things, but I, I, I have, I motivated myself to actually relocate here. So that's great. So now I'm going to be exactly where I'm, I'm going to see massive growth in where I'm going because I've collected data, like I've collected information about myself, right? Like one of the things I really like about this particular generation, and I know a lot of people say a lot of negative things about this generation, but one of the things I really like about this generation is the fact that this is a generation that doesn't necessarily stay on a job from 18 to whatever the retirement age is in the U.S., right? Um, you have people who, um, young adults who get in jobs and they may, they may stay there for a couple of years. They may take training courses or whatever, go right to the next job and ask for a double digit percent raise, like maybe 15, 20% raise because they can, they can demand that because of the knowledge that they've acquired for free. Well, it's, well, they didn't have to pay paper money for it. When I say I can't say necessarily for free because time is also money too. They've invested. They circulated that wealth within themselves. They say, I'm not going to just sit here on a job. I don't plan on being here forever. So the first time my manager doesn't give me a raise for all the effort and the enthusiasm that I put into a job, I'm right there at that very moment starting to look for something else, right? So while one generation may see it as, you know, you can't keep good employees. If they're not being appreciated, they're not going to wait for 5, 10, 15 years to, be, to show some appreciation only to get to the end of a job and get a stale donut and a gold-plated watch and a fake smile and, um, and health issues, right? So Source is saying to you, you're learning how to be a better communicator because you're sitting down with Source and telling Source exactly what works best for you. Again, somebody's in Prince, Prince's mode. Like I deserve to be treated like I am I'm, I'm gr being groomed for getting on my throne. That's you, right? Being groomed for getting on my throne of wealth. That's you. So I deserve the best. And if you can't give me the best based on how I've communicated what I need from you, then guess where you're going to be?
whatever that means, right? So anyway, um, and, and I don't see somebody being afraid to enforce it either in a very warm, spirited way. You're not trying to blowtorch anybody, but you're not stressing your out. We're not going into this. We're not going into this cycle stress. Matter of fact, the last quarter moon in this particular cycle is the last quarter moon in your sign, Cancer. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's not feeling it, they're just not feeling it. Because somebody is tired of having to tell people how you need to communicate. There's some adults that are tired of telling their kids how they want to communicate. And I'm talking about adult kids. We're not talking about little kids. Like you're not about to tell your little kids, put your little backpack on. <laughs> Put your little backpack on in your lunch your lunch uh, container and you got to get out of here because you don't know how to communicate. No, I'm, talk I'm not talking about little kids. I'm talking about adult kids. Like somebody is tired of having to tell people how they need communi how to communicate. Somebody is tired of telling their leadership at work, you know, I'm putting in all this work and I'm, I'm accommodating you. I'm making you look good. You got a smile on your face every time I turn in a project. But whenever it's time for me to get an increase or raise and I write up my self-assessment, you looking at me like I'm a cyclops coming up with every And the only way you can communicate is to tell me that you weren't able to, you know, um, some, every time I turn around, it, it wasn't enough money in the budget. But you keep making all of these promises. Somebody is tired of empty promises. That's stressing you out and, and aging you. So here we have the five of wands. There's definitely some energies that's talking about you. So because, because a large part of us is um, made up of water and through your emotions. So if there was any kind of attachment, like you had a baby with somebody, or if there was any sexual exchange of fluids through sweating, you could have worked out with a partner and you there was no sexual in, no sexual contact, but just the fact that you all sweated together, just that release of that energy and being in close proximity with each other. People, there's all kinds of ways that messages can travel. So when you all start drinking your water, I want you all to, through the vibration of your sound, speak into your water, that vibration of that sound. You may not see the rippling effects because it's not like you turn up the bass and set your water right next to it. You know, boom, 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 right? But start disciplining yourself to speak over your water because this is going to, it's like a stream going through your body. So I want, I want the, I want an abundance of discernment. I want a, an abundance of, of knowledge and wisdom, right? I'm trying to cleanse out my spirit. So I'm not just having on toxic vibrations next to my water before I drink it, Right. So <clears throat> when those energies are committed to pulling you back into a bunch of chaos and confusion by any means necessary, remember misery loves company when they're ready to do that. And it can come through you. It can come through, you know, them calling you getting some mess started. It's a lot of people that are in their own personal hell. You're not, you're not joining them in that. You're not joining them in that. So that's the five of wands. We have the queen of wands. We have the 10 of wands. We have the three of wands and also the nine of wands. Somebody has kept trying to tell people the same thing over and over and over again. You know how like a lot of parents will tell their kids, all right, a hard head makes a soft bottom and they don't want to believe you until you do this. Move on. Yeah, somebody's moving on to booked and busy and not burdened at all. And that's when people all of a sudden, ears big as satellite dishes. Now you got everybody's undivided attention. Now everybody's sitting up like toy soldiers, back straight as a straight as an ironing board. <laughs> now everybody hears everything you've been trying to communicate to them. But guess what? You already started putting one foot in front of the other. So like I said, nine of wands came out twice. It's going to be two energies that's going to be feeling some kind of way because I see you moving on with life. Some of your adult kids, they didn't hear a word you said. That's why you have, um, and I hope this isn't triggering for somebody. That's why, see, we, we, go through, we go through death, rebirth every single day. And a lot of people don't know that. Well, your skin is a way of sawing it through the dust like that, you know, releasing those you know, that skin through the dust. We, we see that every single day. You're shedding that skin through your dust. But a lot of people don't believe it until they see a physical body in a casket or they get some kind of news that, wow, I should have treated that person better. Some people don't treat you better until after you've left the state, the country, the province, the, the, the continent, 
all of a sudden, those people who took you for granted, that's why there's some family members you lived around, some family members your whole life, and they never came to your house. But as soon as you move to a different city, state, country, county, whatever province, uh, continent, all of a sudden they got plain fear to come visit you. Sources saying you're going to start looking at things different instead of burning yourself out. Here we have the Three of Wands and also the Queen of Wands. I thought I said the Three of Wands. That was a Four of Wands. Okay. Somebody's taking a leap of faith into your own future, a quantum leap. You got your foot firmly planted and you're leaping into your own future, booked and busy, not burdened at all, feeling happy, charismatic, and free. So go on with your bad selves, cancer. That's all I can tell you for real, because if they didn't appreciate you, had you all burned out, stressed out, hair falling out, eyebrows singed, eyelashes falling off, all of this going on while they had access to you because they couldn't get it together because they were lost and letting other people keep them in their wilderness. Somebody says, hey, I'm not buying another expensive beauty cream to, to preserve my skin. I'm going to drink my coconut water, and I'm talking about the real coconut, and I'm going to mind my business. You want to stay in hell? Hey, I don't have anything negative to say about you, but you're not burning me out. So let's see what else we got going on here, Cancers. This is nice, very, very nice, because I'm telling you, send out, when I talk about communication... <laughs> And, and Gemini is, the moon is going to be in Gemini from the 3rd, the latter part of the day of the 3rd of October through the 5th of October. You're sending out very strong messages because you've been sending them out. But nothing is, nothing is more powerful than putting one foot, <laughs> putting one foot in front of the other. Here we also have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Mm-hmm. So congratulations, you were born to inspire. Your creativity has been born to inspire. You're inspiring more people than you realize. See, because there are some pe only people that know that you're in the right direction, Cancer, are the people who are also in their own light. Y'all over there high-fiving each other in the spirit. Here we have the four of cups. You are no longer going to be existing in this energy right here, four and five of, pen uh, four and five of cups. Matter of fact, matter of fact, speaking of the number four, let's talk about numerology for just a second. So number four, and I want to make sure we get this, we get all of this, right? So number four is the, let me put this down for just a second, I need more than two hands. Number four, I want to let you all load. You can break the number four too. Number four actually um, symbolizes the real reason for our existence here on earth. Number four being the earth number uh, reminds us that we are all divine beings of light having a human experience, right? It means that we are always connected through source, right? We're all connected, right? So it's meant for us to live a clean, organized life, right? This is not, when I say clean, clear water, we're here to be that We're here to be that clean water for each other. You know, whenever, you know, we're feeling low on emotions and trying to encourage each other, but some people will suck all of the water out of you and then get mad when you don't have any more. Like they will keep expecting you to do this. Hold on. They'll keep expecting for you to do this. Keep bringing you water into a... Like I said, I need more than two. They'll keep giving, keep, they'll keep expecting for you to be the fire person, fire man or fire woman in their lives. Keep putting the fires out. Keep de-stressing them. Keep whenever their spirit is thirsty because they're allowing everybody else to stress them out. They keep expecting for you to keep pouring water. And guess what? The more water you pour into them, the more and more you start seeing that it's not effective at all. Because it's a choice that they're making to keep going back into these situations over and over and over again. You know why? Because their number four is out of alignment. They don't see themselves as divine being of light that's having a human experience. They see themselves as human beings that's having a divine experience. They're seeing it in the reverse, right? Just completely backwards. So no matter how much you tell them that source is inside of you, you got everything you need inside of you to not only survive, but also thrive. 
they won't believe it because they're around, to they're around toxic energies that keep burning them out emotionally, right? Bullying energies, narcissistic energies, people that's creating all kinds of fog in their mind. So when I tell you this, and I'm only telling you because it's the card is out here, when you move on, all of a sudden they will be sitting there with memories. All of it is going to come out through their tears and, oh my God, I... I wish I, I when, when is the next time I gonna see you again? Boo, I'm on a plane. <laughs> and the ticket is one way. <laughs> so so like I said before, source is speeding things up for you. Somebody didn't already asked God um, three times. Look, three times. Mm-hmm. These are eleven wands. Eleven wands. The number eleven is a master number, right? It symbolizes getting off the fence and stepping into your own light. So source of speeding this thing up times three. So how many more months we got in this, this calendar year? So within three months, somebody's going, I'm, I'm telling you, you could have made the decision today, but within three months, somebody could be seriously relocating, seriously onto something brand new where people did not appreciate you, they didn't appreciate your clean water. All of a sudden, tears are flowing and people are lamenting. I should have listened to what cancer said. And I'm talking about some of your family members, some of your family members, some of your friends, some of your exes. All of a sudden, oh my God, I can't believe it. How are they going to survive that? Now, all of a sudden, they got all of this concern. Where was this? <laughs> Keep your vibrations high. <laughs> Here we have the king of wands. You got king of ideas. Not only are you queen of wands. Like I said, you're not stepping down off your throne anymore. You already are prepping yourself emotionally to get back to your throne because every time you you're you learn how to address your crown, you get into that crown chakra, right? Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. You already on your horse. You already been working hard. See, behind the scenes, you've been already quietly just working. Like I've, I try to communicate every which kind of way I could communicate. And somebody didn't want to hear. Hey, I try through I, I try through multiple ways of communicating, right? How many ways you try to communicate cancer? Right? You tried nonverbal communication, interpersonal communication. You tried writing. You tried visual communication, mass communication, organizational communication. You tried social media. You tried email. You tried eye contact. You know how some couples, they can look at each other from across the room and be like, oh, you ready to go? Yeah, you ready to go. Not one lip has moved. It's just an eye contact. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's wrap this conversation up. I got to go. Right? You try eye contact. You try speech communication. You try gesture, public communication, speech, business communication. You try storytelling. You try face-to-face -face conversation. This right here is sometimes the only communication that people understand. Three of Pentacles. Everything is perfectly aligned for you. Source says, hey, uh, I, I, I'm just waiting on you. <laughs> that, that's what Source is saying to you. Hey, I just said you got kind of communication. On the side. I'm just waiting on you, Cancer. What, what, what are we going? What time we packed up and leave? Leaving, right? That's what Source is saying to you. Stop talking. You, you'd already talked. Somebody's vocal cords, you know, inflamed at this point. So, like I said before, you know, it's all love. It, it really, really is all love. You haven't wasted any time. You Somebody is definitely committed to no longer letting people burn them out or stress them out about situation. And sometimes people don't, like I said, they don't hear you into this. They don't see you. They, they didn't believe you that you were going to start a business until, guess what, you start. You had a grand opening. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's mouth hung, swung, swung wide open. <laughs> It's like, close your mouth before a fly flies and lands on your tongue. You know, that sometimes people don't hear you until it's something about your tone of voice that lets people know. See, that's why we had that super full moon in Aries that was either exciting people or wearing people out, or stressing people out. That assertiveness in your voice, something in your voice says, and it wasn't a threat. It was a promise. That's when you get to that point where you said, you know what? It's time for me to take action because I'm stressed out in all the other ways I've been trying to communicate and people don't say it. So you're just saying in a calm, cool, collective voice, this is my last time telling you. And you don't even have to use those exact words, but something in however you say it is, this is my last time telling you this. You're going to have to believe it when you see it. So, yeah. So somebody has a perfect job, like I said, that's lining up for them. 
somebody's going to walk in their manager's office and say to their manager, hey, listen, we've been doing this. We've been going around this mulberry bush for years. <laughs> and I don't, I don't even eat mulberries. Look, this is the last time we're doing this. I'm not skipping to the loo no more. <laughs> Like I said, something about your energy is serious. Somebody looked in the mirror and they started saying, hold on, I'm getting bags under my eyes. And see, that's not even vanity. That is you saying to yourself, I'm, there's a stressor in my life right now that's aging me. There's a stressor in my life that's inflaming my joints. What in the world? I am tired of rub rubbing turmeric on my knees and elbows. When I can remove the issue, I can get straight to the crux of the problem, right? So that's what I'm seeing here. That is what I'm seeing here. So that's what all I got to say is high five to you, cancer. That's all I can say. I am so happy for you. You don't even understand. I'm over here smiling like a, like a proud parent. <laughs> I am so happy for you all because I'm serious. People take people's kindness for weakness until you move on. All of a sudden, everybody's gasping for air. Bold, be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. So it's, somebody's going to have a lot of duties and responsibilities in their next job. Lots of duties and responsibilities. It's going to be the perfect job for you because you know why? You've learned different forms of communication and you've learned to stand firm on what you said. Somebody will be, feel like they'll be in a perfect um, uh, uh, region of the world, wherever your next location is, because wow, my communication, whether you speak the language or not, my communication is so effective. People know that whether you speak the language or not, somebody may have said or done something. Hey, I'm pushing back from the table and I'm leaving. Right. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, it, like I said, this is balanced out energy. Because now in your healing, you have an innate spiritual understanding of self. And that's why Source is saying, I'm rewarding you in time and in money because you took the time to heal yourself to a point where I deserve, hey, I deserve to be on the throne. I deserve to be on the throne. So when I say right now, somebody is in training for their king and queendom music. That's right. Somebody in Ring the alarm. Somebody rang the alarm. Somebody's got some Congos out. Somebody got some instruments. This is shaking up the atmosphere. Yes. Somebody got their, somebody, somebody had, see how these people have got a tambourine in their hand? See, music also removes negative energy from the universe. That's stale energy. When you clap your hands, you're breaking up the atmosphere. So that's why I talk about listening to your high vibrational music, just the vibration of sound. That's why I say as a water sign, start speaking over your water. What are you pouring into your body? Wisdom, knowledge, discernment. What are you pouring into your body? Better ways to communicate. What are you pouring into your body? Right? Mm -hmm. Guidance. You're also pouring that into your body too. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Right? Stars shine brightest in the in dark spaces, right? But we also know that the sun is a star, right? And so somebody is feeling a lot sunnier. Somebody's feeling a lot more youthful. That sun, that medicinal healing of the sun, somebody's feeling a lot more youthful, a lot happier. Somebody's starting to see their value more. I mean, you can't put a price tag on that. You really cannot put a price tag on that, and people know it. And somebody's feeling free, free as a bird. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like somebody is going to be making a move um, this month. There's a 10 on the card. I feel like somebody's going to be making a move this month. It may or may not be a permanent. For some of you all, it's going to be a permanent relocation, right? But for some of you all, it's going to be, I need to send a strong message that I'm free regardless, whether you're in my life or you're not in my life. 
Um, some of you all going to be moving to a new job, like move, maybe from one office to the next, right? So your manager, if they stretched or burned you out, like I said, put some, motivate yourself, motivate yourself. If you relocate into a new job in a different, within the same company into a different office or going to a different department or whatever, if you have a company where you can like do details or whatever, apply for some of those details. Don't be afraid to do it. If you work for an organization where you feel like I've been on this job and I'm burned out and I'm stressed out, put your, uh, you know, use some of these AI tools to rewrite your resume. There's a lot of AI tools online that will help you to pick out those keywords that these companies set up for the in their um, job description that will rewrite your entire resume for free. If you're looking for another job and you've been struggling with how can I put this verbiage together, I don't know if I feel like I'm qualified for this and I've been applying for jobs, use these AI tools. Come on, step into this, this century, right? So it's a lot of things. If you're relocating physically somewhere else, immerse yourself in that wherever it is that you're going. Learn a new language if you're moving somewhere. You know, um, somebody could be moving to France. Um, somebody could be moving to the Caribbean. Somebody could be, it's a, it's a lot of things that's going on. Like source is saying, put yourself where you see yourself going, right? Even if you decide, Hey, I'm staying with somebody quantum leap into a better communication relationship. Like we communicate better than we've ever communicated before because I spoke this into existence. I've learned how to get somebody's attention, be more effective in my communication so that people know I'm not kidding. So that's what I'm saying for you all. That's why life is about to get so much better for you all. Much better. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I feel youthful. I feel, woo. I feel like a, I feel like a teenager again. You go in place and people are carding you. Are you really your age? Here we have Oracle 28. Spirits of the other worlds tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. Yeah, somebody may get a reading from an Oracle, right? Or whatever. But source is saying to you, if you read your own cards, um, read your own cards. But the bottom line is that I see this is all good because source had to be creative in how source got a message through to you all, um, cancers and how to bring that motivation out of you. Right. And that's how, you know, so it's all good because it's all source. It's all good because it's all source. So you, you can, like I said, keep your vibrations as high as you possibly can, as it relates to all of this, really all of it number. And let's get ready to close it out. So, yeah, it's definitely going to feel like somebody's in a time machine, like in a good way, though. Like, wow, I'm back to a place where I feel a lot better. Somebody's going to lose weight. Somebody's going to gain weight to the desired, whatever your desired body weight is. That's what somebody's either going to lose or gain weight to your desired weight. Somebody's skin is going to clear up because you won't be stressed out in wherever you are. Or if you're staying there, it's a rebirth into a better life for who, whoever you and that other or others are that you're bringing into this new phase of your life with you. 27, I am expressive. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. Like I said, when I pulled that, per pull that first card out, you all were born to inspire. You'll know somebody's number four is out of alignment and they don't see that they are divine spirits, divine spirits having a human experience because a number four out of alignment is super serious people. They forget to lighten up and go with the flow. Remember you're a water sign, so you're going with the flow. They forget to lighten up and go with the flow. Um, when you find yourself not responding to You'll find th those people, they don't respond to humor. Um, they really can't find, they're disorganized. So they got to always try to control everybody else. Um, they, they, um, they will drain you in trying to control how you, it, 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 like I said, they lost. They're very, very controlling. They want to control every. They want to control every aspect of every, every everybody else's life. And if they can't control you, then they go right into burnout, manipulation in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You're done with all of that. 
you are done with all of that. You recognize that you are a divine being of light, having a human experience. And if you need answers, you go straight to self. You go right in, you know, to and talk to source, you know, about, you know, some solutions with some things. But, ooh, that tickled me when I saw that person sipping on that coconut water. I said, oh, my God, I already know where this re reading is going. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm not stressing myself out. I found a fountain of youth. So here we have affirmations for relationships. I am surrounded by healthy, happy, peaceful people. I attract healthy relationships. I speak my truth. I listen to another's truth. I am grateful for the genuine love in my life. I am supported by those who reveal my best qualities. I give love and receive love. I release attachment to all, not some, to all against my highest good. And that is what I have for you, Cancer. So like I said before, I am so happy for you all. You don't even understand. I don't even think you even understand with how happy I am when I look at these cards because somebody has definitely been boiling your water, boiling your water, causing you to um, just be burned out, like have the worst possible ideas about things. But somebody had to reroute that energy to, to motivating yourself to have good ideas about a situation and say, let me use my creativity to create the best outcome for me. And that's what I have for you. I will see you all on Freedom Friday again. Um, hopefully this has been helpful, you know, to somebody. Here are your questions for the moon in Gemini. Gemini is a changeable creature. It is a, we're not talking about any Geminis that you know. So when I tell you about the moon phases in a particular zodiac sign, I'm not talking about a person. So we're crystal clear. Um, Gemini is a changeable creature. It's a social butterfly. It's a time traveler. Um, it is a communication sign. Um, Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo. And um, it's a divine masculine energy. It's a very playful creature, very curious, is very interested, you know, in just life. Like, I want to learn. They literally are sponges for learning, right? So this is where you are learning how to communicate better, right? with self and sending that message out into the universe. First question is, do you feel there's an area of your life in need of radical change, like work, your relationship, well-being, or your home life? Second question is, what's getting in the way of you changing your story, Cancer? Third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then last but not least is, what are the who are the five people you can get in touch with who could help you on your journey? It's not always a physical person, right? So five people could be five authors of books that you've read. It could be five YouTube channels you've listened to. It could be podcasts that you listen to. Remember, we're in a digital age, right? So a lot of relationships are online where people are tuned into people's frequency, right? So if you don't have five friends or five people you can talk to or whatever, source is saying you do have five resources. Remember, we are not each other's source. We are all resources. Everything is resource. There's only one source. And so plug into those resources, right? So it's going to help you. So if you feel like, okay, I need to read five books that's going to help me be a better communicator, bam, those are your five people right there, five authors, right? So anyway, that's what I have for you, Cancers. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Again, happy, 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 happy waning gibbous moon phase as we're on our way to the last quarter moon phase in Cancer on the 6th of this month. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.